Steve Thompson is the last person police know of who might have talked to Cheryl Levitt. He was working his normal after midnight shift at this Southside convenience store two Sundays ago when a woman stuck her head in the door. A woman he thinks was Cheryl Levitt. She stuck her head in. She asked if I had seen three girls. And I said, hold on just a second. And I finished taking the money from the customer. And then I walked around the counter to the door. And she asked if I had seen Susie, a brunette girl, and another blonde girl in the last hour and a half to two hours. To me, she wasn't upset. She was maybe hyper. You know, she was in a hurry, obviously. I just assumed as a concerned parent. Thompson thinks Levitt's daughter, Susie Streeter, was in the store that night a few hours earlier. Susie and Stacy and another girl that I don't recall ever seeing were in there earlier in the evening. I'm not sure in the time. It could be anywhere from 10 to 11, 11.30, somewhere in between there. They buy something? They came in and each bought like gum, candy, and then there's a guy that was with Stacy and he stuck his head in and said he had forgotten to buy cigarettes and Susie there, then purchase some Marlboro Lights for him. Police, who just yesterday said they were fairly confident of Thompson's information, today hedged somewhat that it was Cheryl Levitt out that night. We're still looking into that. That's one of the key things we want to do is to uh, find out why this conflicting information is there and put it to rest at, w at one once and for all as to what actually occurred. Thompson says he's sure it was Levitt. Police just hope someone comes forward to confirm a vital piece of information. In Springfield, Scott Boyd, Colorton Newsbeat.